What's up guys, Joey here from Ugotech and we're here in Tokyo, Japan to check out Sony's latest entry to the True Wireless Earbuds game. This is our hands-on review of the Sony WF-1000X Mark III. Let's check it out. Let's do a quick unboxing. First, you get the earbuds themselves, then you have the charging case, a complete set of ear tips of different sizes, a USB-C cable for charging, and your manuals. So Sony skipped the Mark II, so the Mark III's are the direct successor to the WF-1000X from 2017. Both the earbuds and their charging case have the same aesthetic as the WH-1000X Mark III over ear headphones, you know, the ones Miguel owns and loves so much. As such, you get a nice matte finish and you get the same colors, either silver with gold accents or black with rose gold accents, which I totally dig. The earbuds themselves have an oval-shaped profile. The outside surface is curved a little bit towards the bottom, while the upper part is flat since there's a touch sensor. Swipe gestures are not supported, unfortunately. Instead, you make do with single, double, or triple taps, or a hold. While you can assign what function corresponds to a particular action, you're only limited to playback control on the music side. It's a bummer that you can't control volume. The inner portion has a dome-shaped piece with a rubber coating to provide support and keep the earbuds secure. On the top of the dome rests the replaceable silicone ear tips. So checking out sound quality, I'm personally not a huge audiophile but I'll try my best to describe the experience. On my first few uses, I was just satisfied with the sound quality. Highs, mids, and lows are pleasant and there's decent separation. The AAC and SBC audio codecs are supported, but for you true audiophiles out there, it might suck for you to hear that the APTX or Sony's propriety LDAC are not. However, using the Sony Headphones Connect app, you can opt to turn on Digital Sound Enhancement Engine HX mode, which promises to upscale the quality of lower res music, and in my opinion, it works like a charm. Treble is crisper, bass is deeper, and the overall soundstage also seems to widen. As for noise cancellation, it's definitely not as good as Sony's over-ear Mark III's, but I think they did a great job with this one. Both earbuds use two noise-canceling microphones each in conjunction with the QN1E processor to actively cancel surrounding noises. And so far in my testing, it works great in loud, crowded spaces. For microphone quality, I did a few test calls and every time the person on the other line said that my mic quality with the Mark III's was better compared to my phone's built-in mic, the case. So while it's not as compact or functional as something like the AirPods 2 case, it does have some stuff going for it. First off, it looks amazing. Matching black and rose gold with the earbuds, it charges via Type-C, heck yeah, it has NFC, and the inside is magnetic, so popping the earbuds back in is instant and satisfying. It's also got a pretty big battery, allowing you 24 hours worth of full charges, with each charge lasting like 6 hours if you have noise cancelling turned on. Sony also claims that you can get 90 minutes of playback with just a 10 minute charge. Though the case is pretty bulky for my taste and wireless charging is not supported, but Obasan from Sony tells me that their priority is a bigger battery over a more pocketable design and wireless charging and I can respect that. But another frustration I have is the lack of IPX resistance. I can accept the lack of like general water resistance but living in hot and humid Manila Sweat resistance is a feature we need in a good pair of wireless earbuds. But in any case, I really like everything these earbuds have to offer. Great sound quality and noise cancelling for those on the go, a sharp design, and excellent battery life. But for a local price of 12,999 pesos, it's facing some stiff competition from the likes of the Galaxy Buds, AirPods 2, and Jabra Elite 65e, all of which are cheaper. Alright, so that wraps up this hands-on review of the Sony WF-1000X Mark III. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please do drop a like, subscribe to our channel for more content, hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads, and be sure to visit yugotech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. This has been Joey, and I'll see you guys in the next one.